Over half a century has elapsed since the iconic Apollo missions, which marked a pivotal moment in history as the United States achieved the remarkable feat of landing humans on the moon. This triumph not only showcased American technological prowess, but also defined an era of intense competition known as the Space Race, a fierce rivalry between the United States and the former USSR. The geopolitical tensions of the Cold War served as the backdrop for these historic missions, underscoring the strategic importance of conquering new frontiers beyond Earth's atmosphere. Welcome to the next frontier of human exploration, the Moon. Over half a century has passed since the historic Apollo missions, yet the allure of Earth's celestial companion has never waned. Today, nations and commercial entities from around the world are embarking on an unprecedented journey back to the lunar surface. But why? What drives this collective effort to return to the Moon? While the United States made history in 1969 with the Apollo 11 moon landing, it is crucial to acknowledge the pioneering efforts of the Soviet Union in 1959. Luna 2, a Soviet spacecraft, became the first to reach the lunar surface, marking a significant milestone in space exploration. This early success highlighted the space race's competitive nature and added another layer to the geopolitical dynamics of the Cold War. The moon became a symbolic arena for showcasing technological prowess and global influence. Today, a renewed enthusiasm for lunar exploration has emerged, driven by the belief in the moon's abundant resources and their potential benefits for Earth and future space endeavors. The initial perception of the moon as an arid wasteland underwent a transformative shift with the Chandrayaan-1 mission in 2008. India's spacecraft not only orbited the moon but also provided concrete evidence of water on the surface. This groundbreaking discovery was a game-changer as it overturned long-held assumptions about the moon's composition and opened up new possibilities for sustained lunar missions. The revelation of water on the moon had profound implications for the economic feasibility of future lunar exploration. Prior to the Chandrayaan-1 mission, the concept of sending humans to the moon was perceived as prohibitively expensive, given the need to transport water from Earth to sustain astronauts. However, the confirmation of water on the lunar surface altered this narrative, making it possible to envision sustained human presence on the moon without the logistical challenge of water transportation. In August 2023, India achieved a significant milestone in lunar exploration by successfully executing a soft landing on the moon's south pole, a region speculated to contain substantial water reserves. This groundbreaking accomplishment not only bolstered India's standing in the global space community, but also demonstrated the technical prowess required for precise lunar landings. Concurrently, a Russian probe destined for the same lunar region encountered a mishap, underscoring the inherent challenges and risks associated with lunar exploration. These contrasting outcomes highlighted the dynamic nature of lunar missions and the need for continuous advancements in space technology. The burgeoning interest in the moon's resources has spurred a wave of lunar exploration initiatives from various countries. Beyond India and Russia, nations such as Japan, South Korea, the United Arab Emirates have launched their own lunar missions, contributing to the expanding portfolio of lunar exploration endeavors. Each mission aims to unravel the mysteries of the moon, from potential water reservoirs to other valuable resources that could play a pivotal role in future space exploration and sustainability. The rivalry for lunar dominance is most prominently observed between the United States and China. The Artemis program, led by NASA in collaboration with international and commercial partners, is a strategic initiative to re-establish American presence on the moon. With an estimated cost exceeding $93 billion by 2025, Artemis envisions extended lunar missions, including Artemis II and ILI, scheduled for 2025 and 2026, respectively. The program seeks to establish a sustainable foothold on the moon, emphasizing the strategic importance of lunar dominance in shaping the future of space exploration. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 stands as the foundational document guiding international space law, delineating rules for peaceful exploration and utilization of outer space. However, the treaty's interpretation, particularly concerning ownership and resource extraction, remains a subject of debate. In 2015, 
President Obama signed a law asserting the right to extract resources from celestial bodies without claiming territorial ownership, providing a nuanced perspective on the legal aspects of lunar exploitation. Ambiguities in Article 9, which emphasizes due regard to the interests of other nations, introduce complexities regarding the scope of lunar activities and the potential for territorial disputes. The introduction of the Artemis Accords in 2020 marked an attempt by the United States to establish a framework for lunar exploration. This non-binding multilateral agreement engaged over 30 nations participating in the Artemis program with the shared goal of facilitating collaborative efforts in space exploration. However, the absence of two major spacefaring nations, China and Russia, from the list of signatories raised concerns about the inclusivity and effectiveness of this accord. China and Russia's objections to the Artemis Accords have added a layer of complexity to international cooperation in lunar exploration. The absence of a universally agreed upon legal framework for lunar exploration poses significant hurdles as nations vie for supremacy in space. The remoteness of the moon, coupled with the absence of a dedicated international enforcement mechanism, raises concerns about the ability to police and regulate activities on the lunar surface. The first nation to establish a sustained presence on the moon could leverage its access to resources, such as water and helium-3, to gain a competitive advantage in space exploration and potentially influence global geopolitics. As the global community enters a new era of lunar exploration, addressing these challenges becomes paramount. International space law must evolve to accommodate the ambitions of nations and establish clear guidelines for responsible and equitable lunar exploration. Collaborative efforts, including the involvement of non-signatory nations like China and Russia, are essential to bridge diplomatic divides and create a cohesive framework that promotes the peaceful and sustainable utilization of lunar resources. As we conclude this exploration into the captivating realm of lunar ambitions, it becomes evident that the moon, once a distant and desolate frontier, has captured the collective imagination of nations and visionaries alike. The journey from the historic Apollo missions to the present day showcases a relentless pursuit of knowledge, driven by the belief in the moon's untapped resources and the promises they hold for Earth and future space endeavors. Today, the race to return to the moon is not merely a nostalgic revisit to past triumphs, but a strategic and economic venture. As nations and commercial entities vie for supremacy in space, the discovery of water on the lunar surface has transformed the narrative, making sustained lunar missions not only feasible but economically viable. The moon, once considered an arid wasteland, is now a potential wellspring of resources crucial for advancing our understanding of the cosmos and ensuring the sustainability of human exploration beyond Earth. So, whether driven by the pursuit of scientific knowledge, economic incentives, or the sheer audacity of exploring new frontiers, the collective efforts to return to the moon are emblematic of our innate human curiosity and ambition. As we look toward the night sky, the moon, our celestial companion, continues to inspire and challenge us, inviting us to reach beyond our earthly confines and venture into the vast expanse of the cosmos. The journey back to the moon is not just a scientific endeavor. It is a testament to our relentless spirit of exploration and the undine quest for knowledge that propels us ever further into the wonders of the universe. Until next time, farewell.